Oh dear, hello Penny. Why are you feeling sad? And what happened to your glasses? Hi Justin, I'm glad you asked. Chandler McCann broke my glasses. Chandler, broke your glasses? How? Well, he asked to borrow my glasses, he tried them on, and then he threw them to the ground because he said my glasses make him look like a cat. That darn Chandler. I'm so sorry to hear about this Penny. Thanks Justin. Those glasses costed $30 and I don't have enough money to buy a new pair of my glasses. Neither does my mom. Benny. Don't feel bad. I got something that will make you feel better. Really? What is it? Well, first I want you to close your eyes. Okay, now what? Hold out your hands. Now, open your eyes. Sweet as if Newton. You got me new glasses? Yes I did Penny. After I saw the last video, I went to the store and got you a new pair of the glasses you wear. Go ahead. Try them on. Justin, thank you so much. I can see again. Hey Woody and Snap. Come here. What is it now Penny? Hey, I thought Chandler broke your glasses. He did. But a few minutes ago Justin came and got me a new pair of my glasses. Justin, thank you so much for giving Penny a new pair of glasses. You are such a lifesaver. Well Rudy, it's what I do. We've got a reward for you Justin. Twenty dollars. Wow thanks Snap. You're welcome Baco. You can use this to get that big time rush season 1 DVD you are planning to get. Justin, you are more than welcome to go home. I will call Star Butterfly and tell her what you did. Justin, I just got off the phone with Rudy Tabuti and he told me you gave Penny new glasses. Indeed I did. I felt bad for Penny after watching the last video. And you did the right thing Justin. We are so proud of you. And Star Butterfly has a reward for you. Here it is Justin. I got you Die Hard with a Vengeance on DVD. I heard you are a fan of the Die Hard series. And I will tell you what. Despite the film is rated R. We will watch the movie later together as a family. Thank you everyone. I really do love Die Hard. Again Justin, you are truly welcome. Justin, you have really done it now. I can't believe you brought Penny a new pair of glasses. And even worse, stopping Chandler from hitting on Daisy. More books. I thought I told you to go to bed. You do realize that after you acted out the other day, right? Star Butterfly, Justin should be grounded. He is doing bad things to my friend Chandler. More books. Do not use that type of violence in front of us like that. Shut up. Justin, you better like Chandler soon or else I will be too black and blah. More books. I swear to Bob Saget. If you say something to me one more time, Jake Long is going to burn you again. You will also be grounded even longer, young lady. Shut up. Justin, you are grounded for 200 weeks. More bucks? You have crossed the line now. Jake, you know what to do. Burn more bucks like a marshmallow. You got it. Dragon up. Wait, 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 let's talk about this. It was a joke, gra eyes. No, it was not. Prepare to get burned. This is what you deserve for talking to Justin like that, as well as trying to ground him. Speaking of which, you are grounded until Justin gets season 1 of Big Time Rush on DVD. Now go to your room or else I will have Starlo take you to Bowser's castle. Alright, alright, I'm going.